it comes to do black men hate natural hair some of the main talking points that i personally hear is texturism plays a factor so they say like um allegedly black men they prefer a looser curl pattern also they say if they do like coily hair then they like long coily hair or if you're gonna have coily hair they also have a, a lot of allegations that you gotta be light-skinned and have coily hair in order for black men to appreciate it so i'm gonna start off by adding a few videos about some various opinions about the topic and then i'm gonna come back with more commentary so I'm going to share my screen and let you ladies watch a few videos now. Thank you everyone who is coming in and joining. So let's start with video number one. Can we talk about something? I feel like everybody's always giving black women advice about how they should present themselves and how they should look so that they attract a certain type of man or a black man in general. As a black woman who is constantly changing her aesthetic throughout the week, whether it's because I'm going to work or I'm about to go out, I don't attract black men when I look like this. I'll be so for real, I don't. Black men do not check for me when I look like this. And I look like this nine times out of 10. They do not check for it. I don't care how cute I look, how well my makeup is done, how, how feminine I dress. They do not look at me twice when my hair looks like this. The only time I feel like I get a strong pull and a strong reaction from black men is when I wear a wig. Honorable mention for braids. Sometimes braids can, can yeah, braids too. But when I go out looking like this, they don't want me. I don't know if it's because they think I look old or I look like an auntie, but this is my aesthetic Monday to Friday. So I'm just sick of the cap. Like I'm sick of hearing, I want a feminine woman. I want a woman who wears her natural hair. No, you don't. I really want them to learn what texturism and featurism really is. I really do because. <sighs> All right, that is video number one. Now let me insert the next video. Every time I listen to a relationship podcast or listen to black men talk about black women on social media, one of the things that they always talk about is black women don't have don't wear their natural hair, black women are always wigging it, black women should stop wearing wigs, yada 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 yada. Let me tell you something. I have gone natural for two years, not because of men, but because of my own um, you know, scalp reasons and um, besides this is my hair as you can see it's kinky 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 and it's been two years and let me tell you something i receive a lot of compliments about my hair from white men from men from other races i receive compliments from them black men on the other hand they don't like women's natural hair you lot are coming out here saying we want to see natural hair what you want to see is black girls with long hair that's what you want to see not natural hair action speaks louder than words you can't come out here saying you want to see women with natural hair and you're dating girls with wigs you're marrying girls with wigs marrying girls with hair extensions mm -hmm. During the times where I used to wear wigs and virgin hair extensions and all that stuff, I used to get a lot of attention from black men. I get a lot of attention from black men. Since I've gone natural, I don't get that attention from black men anymore. Instead, I get it from other races. So what does that tell you? Black men don't like women with natural, and um, they don't like black women with natural kinky hair. What you want is for black women to have long hair. And unfortunately, kinky hair is not going to be long down the back strap. For some girls it will, but for majority of us it won't. So please just leave black girls and their hair alone because at the end of the day, you're still gonna wife up a girl that still mimics European texture hair. All right, and I have one more video I am going to share before I come back with more commentary. Why do you wear wigs more so than your natural hair? Well, black men say they like natural hair, but they really only mean the looser curled textures and really long hair. So you wear wigs to attract a black man that doesn't actually really genuinely like black women. No, that's just the reality. Most black men do not actually like natural hair. No, the self-hating black man does not like natural hair. Real, wholesome, healthy black men like natural hair in all forms. The reality is you and most women who wear wigs and claim that it's because black men hate natural hair have not actually really tried to wear your natural hair out and style it and learn to love it. Your argument literally makes no sense. Why do you wear wigs more so than your natural All right, we are back. And I definitely want to give an honorable mention to the girl that I am about to put on the screen now by the name of Lib Gloss. Now, I could not find her original video, but, but I'm not mad. Was 
it's kind of playing in the background but let me say that again so lip gloss unfortunately she was kind of bullied off of tiktok allegedly after she went viral for saying that she only attracted white men when she wore her hair in her unstretched, unmanipulated state, et cetera. So it was definitely an uh, uproar. And it was even to the point where some alleged black men, I guess, went on to make, took her photo, made a dating profile of her to prove that black men actually would choose her if she was on the dating market, et cetera. It was absolutely crazy. But Again, unfortunately, your girl decided to get off of TikTok, but she definitely contributed to the conversation about whether or not Black men hate natural hair. So she definitely deserves an honorable mention as well. But I also want to talk about Sheer 7. So, yeah, some people are giving, they said they love lip gloss. So, yeah, I did too. It's unfortunate what happened to her. But Sheer 7 definitely brought this conversation back up into the forefront in the recent time. And when I say recent, like within the last month, because Shira Seven recently went viral, super viral as well, after she stated that high value men do not like, she actually said curly hair, but curly natural hair. So I'm going to insert her video just in case you haven't seen it and then come back on my commentary. Most men do not like curly hair. They like long, loose waves, or straight. Curly hair is too big. It's too much. It takes away from your beauty. If you spent an hour in the mirror, do your makeup, and then you have this massive curly curliness going on, they're not gonna see none of this. All they're gonna see is this. You know, all that's all they're gonna see the hair. This is all they're gonna see. All they're gonna see is your hair. They're not gonna be focused on you. Okay, so the hair should be simple and sleek. Men with money want you to fit into their environment and be curls and braids. Don't fit. That's just how it is. I know people are proud of their hair. It's long. It's, it's natural. Yes. I don't want to damage it. Of course you don't. That's why you buy a wig. That way, when you're done with that date, you can take it right on off and go back to who you are. You know, I'm wearing a wig right now. Yes. And when I'm done, I'll take it right off. Well, this is my hair. And then this is the wig back here. You see, you can do a half wig. You can get a wig the same texture as your hair. Pull some out in the front, make it a half wig and look natural. All right. So we are back. So you got to hear what Share 7 thinks about whether or not high value men like natural hair. So I actually did do a full video response debunking some of her talking points. So I'm definitely going to leave that video link down below. But I feel like personally, it comes down to preference. And I know Share Seven's argument was basically, if you are in a room full of millionaires or billionaires, what is the quickest way to get the quickest results and just to kind of have a universal appeal? And in my personal opinion and my personal perspective, I will wear my coolly natural hair because I feel like it gives me access to pretty privilege. It makes me stand out. And I honestly feel like it makes me look the best. But again, I know all of our experiences is going to be different. So definitely hold your opinions about what you think about all the videos that I inserted so far. And be sure to hit the link when I am done with the monologue to come up and share your perspective, whether you agree or disagree. But I definitely want to debunk the talking point that you have to be light skin and have in order to have coolie hair and to have your coolie hair appreciated because I can remember a time back in the 70s, everybody was rocking their afros. That didn't it didn't matter if you was light skin, dark skin, all in between. And it definitely was the beauty standard of that time. So I found this little video that actually was um dropped into my discourse so i want to thank the lady who dropped it in there the coolie cutie who put me up on game about this video so i'm going to insert that and then i'm going to come back with even more commentary Don't sleep on the afros. <laughs> yeah. So Everything was good, straight in the mirror. You can see as much as I can. Sometimes, you know, this is pain. 
and white people are aware of it too because white people now want uh, natural wigs. They want wigs like this. Dig it? Isn't it beautiful? All right. It's 2024. You can love all races, right? But we got to have self love first. Don't sleep. All right, we are back. So, like I said it before, so in my personal opinion, I actually feel like I get more attention when I wear my coily hair, whether that's in a twist out, blowout, whether it's in a shrunken state, etc. And I actually only wore weave one time since I transitioned to natural, and that was like six years ago. So it's just been me and my coily hair. So all the high value men, all the men in general that I attract has been with my quality hair. Again, I know everyone's um, experience is gonna be different. And I wanna say that the only experience, I never really experienced anything negative to my face, but I can say that one time when I was dating a guy, so they never showed any type of disapproval towards my natural hair or anything, but I can remember they had like some unrealistic styling expectations. So they're used to like watching TV and seeing like, Quality 4C type hair down to the waist, so they may feel like you can achieve all these crazy looks, etc. Or your hair may actually be too long for the looks that they are pointing out, etc. So I can say that they may kind of have some um, ignorance when it comes to what your hair is able to do based on your density, your length, your etc. But when it comes to just appreciating and loving natural hair. I personally have not experienced any negativity. And I actually want to say that coily hair is like a repellent to dusties in my personal opinion, because why would you want to be dealing with a man who is suffering from isms? And in this case, it's like texturism, where they are just so caught up in like either European beauty standards or just caught up in, like I said, just the old like texturism where they only can appreciate looser curly hair textures and then to me it just shows a lot of signs of self-hate and also this made me think about that hair discrimination story that i gave in the video that i talked about hair discrimination this is actually not a personal story but a black woman on youtube did say that she was at a job and a random dude came up to her talking about her hair looked like a bird nest i'm like for one, if that is a true story, that is not the type of dude that I even want to be around anyway, because what the heck, what thinks, what gives you the right to think that you can come up and tell me about my hair? But two, I don't know, like, what you're about. Clearly, you ain't about nothing because you just, you don't even know boundaries, etc. So again, these are the type of dusty type of dudes that may have a opposing opinion when it comes to natural hair. But I also want to talk about when it comes to natural hair, why would you want to have to change your opinion to appease a man that you're dating? Like, I want you to answer that in the comment section and also when we open the stage. Hey, everybody, thank you for joining. So, um, yeah, why would you want to? You got to eventually go to bed. You got to wash the makeup off. You got to take the wigs off. Why would I want to be with somebody who's not going to appreciate me through and through? That just makes no sense to me. So again, go where you are actually appreciated. But another talking point that was featured all throughout the videos that I showed and all throughout YouTube is that white men are the only one who love natural hair. Now, there may be some truth to that, but I don't feel like white men are the only one who enjoy and appreciate natural hair because in my opinion, our natural hair is magnetic. So I feel like all men love our coolly beautiful natural hair, not just white men. And as we know, there's just a long history when it comes to white men and just being super drawn to our hair. So that is rooted again in a lot of history, deeply involved, et cetera. And I feel like we're taking a lot of those stereotypes into today's time even unknowingly. But again, I don't feel like they're the only group of men who appreciate our natural hair. I definitely don't feel like divestment is the answer in order to have your natural hair appreciated by different men, etc. I personally feel like it's going to come down to mindset. So if you're walking around assuming black men hate natural hair, they hate your hair, that is the energy you're going to be projecting off in my opinion. So our thoughts definitely become our reality so again if you're moping around like oh black men don't like my hair everybody thinks my hair is ugly everybody got something to say that is the energy you're going to be portraying basically but 
when it comes to your hair, I definitely think instead of just assuming everybody's going to hate it, whether that's black man, whether that's society in general, try to pour into yourself. And that can look like, for example, positive affirmations instead of like, oh, everybody hates my hair. You can say, I love my coily hair. I know my coily hair is beautiful. I appreciate, I embrace my coily hair through and through. You could just use those as some examples, but there are just so many affirmations you can use to, again, appreciate your coily hair. It's definitely going to come down to confidence. That is going to be one of the biggest takeaways of this monologue is confidence. But in my opinion, I feel like Black women, we look our best with minimum effort and we definitely look our best with our coily hair as in my opinion, it frames our face the best. Now, I'm not going to act like there is not any type of hair dysmorphia going on within our community. And that's not just with Black women, but with Black men as well. So I do want to say, however, it is not okay to get your validation of how you feel about yourself from any man, whether that's black man, white man, et cetera, because a lot of these men, again, this is not about a race. This is just about men in general. A lot of them are dusty. They're going 50, 50, et cetera. Of course, not all, but to try to get some type of validation from a man who's suffering again from his own hair dysmorphia, his own self-hatred, et cetera, they probably do fall into the category that I'm talking about. And there are plenty of good high value men that appreciate quality hair. So once again, I am going to say, go where you are celebrated. We need to take a note from the video that I showed about the 70s where we were creating our own beauty standards. We definitely got to get back to that because Again, our hair cannot be mimicked. It sits on our hair like a crown. Our quality hair is beautiful. We are the standard. There is no other hair type and texture that can mimic our hair whatsoever. But I also want to say we definitely need to show ourselves the love that we wish to receive from other people. Again, that can be men. That can be validation from the community, et cetera, because our hair is literally a connection to the vine and it is a symbol of strength and integrity. I did a full video about our um, 4C quality hair, type 4 hair being connected to our pretty privilege. So I'm going to change that into a live stream in the future. But for now, I'm going to leave that video link down below after this live. So you can definitely check that out in full just to really have a deeper appreciation for your quality hair. So that is my opinion on the topic when it comes to do black men hate natural hair. I want to say that was, again, not from personal experience. And if it is a black man that is showing some type of hatred towards quality hair, that is nine times out of 10, not the type of black man I want to deal with anyway.